Okay, let's check out this jazz lick in E now. Now, I call this a jazz lick because it uses some, what I consider to be jazzy intervals. Well, when you look at the beginning of this lick here, we have a three note pickup. So this is gonna be in the key of E. And the first three notes here of this pickup are gonna be second fret B, fifth fret B, and then second fret high E. So that's gonna be our three note pickup. And then at the beginning of the measure there, in measure number one, we have fourth fret high E, and that's gonna be the one count, or the downbeat of the first measure. Okay, so those four notes together. And what we're actually doing here is we're playing out of the E major kind of scale here, the E major pentatonic scale, I call it the country scale. Then from here, with our little finger, we're gonna place our little finger on the fifth fret B string, and then the second fret B string. So we're making kind of some four fret stretches here. And then after that second fret B, we're gonna place our ring finger on the fourth fret G. So what we've done there is we've played with those six notes or seven notes, we've kind of played some jazzy intervals. And those are those kind of intervals you'll hear a lot in jazz music and bebop music. And in our case, we're just gonna be playing it over kind of a simple E major chord here. Okay, and then after that fourth fret G, we're gonna go back to the fifth fret high B to second fret high B, and then back to fourth fret G. All right, so we're actually repeating some notes here, and we're actually repeating the pattern as well. And this is kind of a, a interesting kind of descending, um, cascading type of pattern here that we're kind of developing in this run. Now right here, you'll see first fret G. And that's actually gonna require us to kind of move our hand position a little bit down, about one fret. And then we're gonna be anchoring here and kind of playing out of this first fret position now. So we kind of started out in this second fret position. And then now we're gonna be going down to the first fret G, which kind of puts us in a slightly different position here. And then from here, with our middle finger, we're gonna play our second fret B on an upstroke, and then fourth fret G again to first fret G. Okay, so you'll notice a pattern here, and if you look at this tab, you can, you can actually see the pattern. It starts on that fifth fret B to second fret B to fourth fret G. So that three note pattern is gonna repeat. And then we're gonna move down to the first fret G. And then that second fret B to fourth fret G to first fret B becomes our next repeating sequence. Okay, so we're repeating some notes here in a very specific way. To see that second fret D and we're continuing kind of going down the register here and then we're gonna go back to that fourth fret G to first fret G again and then back to second fret D and then with our little finger we're gonna hit the fourth fret A so we're kind of coming down into this lower register here with this fourth fret A and then from here we'll just hit the root note at the beginning of the next measure on an upstroke and that root note is gonna be our E major, or just our E. So we're actually gonna end this lick on the root note, but one thing you can do here is if you wanted to kind of add to this or continue on with this pattern, is you could start adding on right at that fourth fret A. And so you don't have to go right to the root. I just chose to go to the root to kind of give it a, a, a sort of a resolve. But you could leave that root note out and just continue to cascade on down kind of the same way that we have been here. And then 
right there, you could just continue to cascade, or you could just play like I have in the tab, just that second fret D, that root note. Okay, so let's talk about inflection. So there's this, this concept in language, you know, in spoken language and also in music called inflection. And inflection is where you change the emphasis of your words, in, if you're speaking, or in the case of music, you change the emphasis of specific notes. So one thing you can do here to add inflection is to emphasize with your dynamics every fourth note. So if we look at this lick that we just learned, We've got our three note pickup, and that fourth note, the fourth fret high E at the beginning of the measure, we can add some inflection to that note. And then what we'll do is we'll add inflection to every fourth note from then on. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a little bit of dynamics and it's gonna make your, your run or your lick sound a little more musical. You can hear what I'm doing there. I'm adding emphasis. So if you just played it straight with no emphasis or no inflection, this is what it would sound like. And then if you add emphasis or add inflection to every fourth note, it could sound like this. Okay, and what we're doing there is we're, se we're essentially playing each fourth note a little bit harder, not even harder, but just with more, with more emphasis on the note. Okay, so we play like the first three notes, the pickup, maybe a little bit quieter. And then we kind of emphasize that fourth note, that fourth fret high E, by just playing it a little more, with a little more pop to it. You're not really speeding up or slowing down. You're, you're kind of adding a little bit of dynamics, a little bit of Force, but what, what you're really doing, the big picture of what you're doing, is you're, you're sort of approaching the lick from a musical perspective as, as opposed to just a nailing the notes kind of a you know, technical perspective. You're, you're looking at it more as making a musical statement as opposed to just executing a series of notes. Mm -hmm. 